Okay, Andrew, tell me what's going on here. Right now, as you can see, we're about to start a flight and it's calibrating. Um, now it's ready to fly. We are in the subarctic here in Iceland and climate change is more prominent here and we look at glaciers in part because they're a signal for what's happening with the rest of the environment as climate change occurs. If you just took a picture with a satellite, you would see that the nose of it is retreating, but you're not getting the fact that the glacier is shrinking, it's coming down, getting lower and lower. And so with a three-dimensional model that we can make from flying our drones over it, you not only get greater fidelity, you know, much higher precision photograph, much higher resolution, but you're also able to get a sense of the volume of ice that is, uh, that is being lost each year. This is a 3D assembly um, of the drone pictures we took at the glacier about a week ago. Um, this is about 582 different pictures that the drone captured. So this is the western edge um, of the glacier and once we create um, the middle of the glacier and the other edge of the glacier in the same format, we can combine them all together and then use a tool called QGIS in order to make an uh, estimate of volume, of how much uh, volume this glacier has and then we can repeat the process in future years to get a change over time of how the volume changes. It's one thing to do one-shot science where you come in and take a bunch of measurements and then leave. It's another thing to measure something year on year on year and begin to see long-term patterns.